G'day, g'day, we're back with some more TDU stuff. Um, today we're going to be covering how to install the the relatively new TDU World launcher that's been released by the incredibly hard-working boys on the, the unofficial Discord. Um, I'll bring up the Discord here. So, um, <clears throat> we've got this pinned message here in the, uh, in the Discord, TDU Zone. And of course, there'll be a link to the Discord. Um, I'm not going to drop a link, a download link for the the World Launcher in the description. You do have to join the Discord to get access to this link, as you can see, especially for TDU Zone members. So, <clears throat> anyway, they've been working very hard on this. So, uh, I think it's it's only right if you join the Discord and have a chat to the boys. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do. We've got actually. I'll bring this Discord back over here. So, our download link is in the is pinned in the announcements. It's not too far down, just right here. And first thing we're gonna we're gonna go here, copy link, and just hop that out of the way. And it looks like it's on Mega. So, just gonna download. It is a bit of a big download, 135 megabytes. So, give it a bit of time. <clears throat> And it may be worthwhile, uh, oops, downloading this .NET file as well, the .NET core, um, just in case it's needed. But uh, I might just leave that because I think, all right, that's all completed there and downloading now. Perfect. So I'm just going to drag it on onto here now, just following the pretty uh, straightforward instructions from the the Discord here. We've opened up the uh, the RAR file. Oh my! All right, so we're gonna hop that up, and of course we're gonna bang up the um, <clears throat> the root file, which I think for me is. Uh, no, not seven days to die. Definitely not. Um, test drive unlimited. Here's our root folder. Now, of course, if you have watched the previous video for me on the uh, TD2 fix, the 2020 uh, update, um, follow along with that video first. I think the launcher does work with a completely stock game, but all uh, following the instructions on my video, uh, always gonna help make the game just a little bit better. So we just want to copy all the contents from here and pop it into here. Just let it copy over. Now we're looking for in the Discord it says we're looking for tdworldlaunch.exe, which is here, and we need to rename it to this. So firstly, we want to make a backup of this file, up launcher. Just copy that. Actually, I might just drag it onto my desktop here. Copy onto your desktop, just in case your game does eventually mess up. And because we're going to be overriding it, we can just delete it and rename this to Up Launcher. And it's Up Launcher with a capital L. Yes, it certainly is. Launcher.exe. Perfect. <clears throat> and this means that we're going to have access to the Steam overlay, which you wouldn't have otherwise if you launched through the Universal Launcher, which is what I was covering in the previous video, this thing here. <clears throat> so that is now not needed, as we'll be launching through Steam now. <clears throat> Alright, so that's all good to close up now. Get rid of all these things and we can hop into Steam now. Oh, never mind that. And we're looking for TD2, which is here. And we're going to hit play. And we've got all this jazz. And with any luck, it should launch. <laughs> Perfect. I just had to I just had to press play again there. Didn't open up the first time. Anyway, as you can see, here's our launcher. Um, 
actually quite similar to um, to the original test drive unlimited launcher in its nature and I mean you're just going to go ahead and click play and with any luck perfect and we should see a little steam overlay perfect down in the bottom there so that means we've got access to steam overlay there's the product code actually probably shouldn't show that in front of you guys because then you're going to yoink it anyway I think as far as that goes open that type never mind but it looks like it's all working so this is this is um the very first steps in getting TDU2 back into online ser online servers and uh, here we are back in the game all right that's all good so as far as that goes I think that's about it um, it didn't ask for the the .NET core because the launcher didn't say so so I'm just gonna hop out and the launcher should still be open yeah it is um, so it didn't ask for the .NET core so um, install .NET I might just so I'm gonna download uh, time 64 I imagine it would be a here we are. All right, so I'm going to run that and so I'll fill those prompts and the installation being successful all right I imagine it can't hurt to install this so and obviously if the launcher prompts you to install it then obviously that's what you're gonna do and of course double checking just to ensure <coughs> and it looks good to me all right and I think that's about it for me um, I'm aiming to cover some more mods on TDU2 because apparently that's the only thing that gets, that gets views on my channel so anyway um, I'm aiming to cover some just basic visual visual mods nothing too complicated um, but yeah that should be coming out soon once I actually get the time anyway <clears throat> thanks for watching I hope I hope everything worked out um, and if it didn't feel free to um, to pop it down in the comments and of course you've got the link to the discord now don't you so um feel free to message the boys of course make sure you pop it in um td2 general or troubleshooting and i'm sure everybody will be able to help you out there more than what i can do with my very limited skill set anyway until next time see ya